Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Welcome back to another episode of Generations. Today, we'll be working below me in a lake and making a brand new river. Let's get into it. Just kidding, I can't actually make that jump, but to satisfy the jumps, we'll go down here. Wait. Ooh. Gravity, my worst enemy. My legs feel great from that jump. Anyway, down here at the lake, we are going to make this a bit deeper. I want to include some ships in here and make it look really nice. We have some really nice caves and overhangs, which could look really, really pretty. This is an amazing area, and I, I want to make it look even better. And just over here, we have a little bit of the water leading this way. And over those hills is another body of water, which are connected to just another little body of water, I think, right there. So it's a little bit of two bodies of water. They might even be separated by a couple blocks. But I plan on one day, or maybe this episode, depending on how invigorated I am to do this, is clearing all of this land through here and make it look nicely and attach it nicely to the big body of water over here and yep it is separated a little bit so yeah there's a body of water there body of water there and a body of water there and i want to connect all three and make it look very very pretty but now for a time lapse of me clearing out the water here Right, so here's our three layers down and done. So we have one, two, three, and I want to do another fourth layer down. I want it to go deeper than this as it is currently, since I want to add some stuff to the bottom of this little lake, make it look a little bit more alive. But for now, we're going to start making the river go through that way to the other bodies of water. So that entails me removing this huge thing first and then getting the river to connect to at least this body and this little pool of water so pool pool connect it to here remove this thing bring you guys back to talk about this giant area that's going to take a very long time to remove so see you guys back in a second okay general shape of it is fine it's a little flat here need to change that a little bit and this side really needs to get pushed back a bit it really gets narrow around here and i would like it to take up as much space as it can getting over there so i need to keep pushing these back a little bit and then i'll bring you guys back when the river is filled up and then we'll talk about the plans for the uh, and then we'll talk about the plans for this tiny river Okay, water's all filled. Now I just need to work on this side area. It looks really bad and flat and weird now that I removed that giant spire that was there. So we need to fix that up. Once again, fix up this flat line. And then I'll bring you guys back after I have done the layers to the river like I have to the lake. So, see you in a second. You know what's boring? Mining. You know what's fun? Explosives. How can we make mining fun? Explosives. Of course. Everything, everything in Minecraft is just three times better with a whole bunch of explosives. So we're gonna set one there and hopefully get a decent chain reaction. I'm just hoping for a little bit here. Not too much, but I just wanted to clear out a little bit of work for me since I'm lazy and it would be nice to have less work. 
So let's see if that works. That should work. Uh, the three diagonal, maybe not, but we'll check. Run! But get a good view of it. Ooh, so close. Almost got that one. But look at all the look at all the great damage it's doing for us. Look at all the great damage. All right, and one more <laughs> because that one just did not want to go. Fine, fine. Uh, I I knew it wasn't probably three. I thought it was like two or something. You know, it's okay. It's okay. But boom. And now we have a whole lot more done for me. See, mining with explosives is fun. Mining by your hands is not. So, I think uh, explosives are the way to go. I just need to go and fight a whole lot more creepers to actually do that. So, nighttime montage, go! We have two more pieces, so I'll be blowing away this part of the wall and seeing if we can get just a little bit more into it. So we'll place one right uh, here to start. Actually, no, we should definitely go up one. Just break all the sand above it and place it there. We'll run up here, boop, and just step on it and run. Okay. Nice hole in the wall, please. Awesome. Good chunk. And then the next one we can do right here. And it should be a pretty good blast once again. Run, run, run. Yeah, looks like it's a pretty good blast. It does look pretty nice. Now let's get a little bit back to see. Yeah, definitely looks like it's a bit more natural than I would have done. So that's a definitely good thing. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up around this area, bring it down quite a bit, and see you guys back in a second. Okay, so this side of the river is pretty much done. I might push it back maybe one or two more, but this is pretty much it. And I want to show you guys the uh, how I did this. How I did this and how it looks actually pretty good, like actual normal Minecraft hills, just like this. So it's the sand. The whole trick is just the sand. Let's get a nice little demonstration here where I can get a whole bunch of sand nicely. Okay, so for right here, I just take out these blocks, right, and then the sand falls, and then whatever is behind it that is still a different material, I get rid of it. So, we just take away everything, and for example, right here, we would just take away all of this, and then these would fall, then I would have to take away that sandstone. It's pretty simple, and I think it actually made a really really nice edge to a river it looks like a, just a sheer nice drop down so that's what i plan on doing this side this side's going to get pushed back at least three i think so i'm gonna get another good angle and you'll see me push it back three here's something i always notice there's always silly little generation things in the Minecraft world that make the biomes look really weird in the old versions. They split off very weirdly. So, I want to clean it up a little bit. All of this here is going to be changed into sand and sandstone. All of that corner there is going to be changed into sand and sandstone to make it more consistent with the actual area around it, which is sand and sandstone, because I think it's actually considered a desert, although it doesn't say biomes, so I'm not sure sure uh it's it's a desert to me it's going to be a desert it has cactuses it's a desert so yeah i'm going to fix up those and see you guys back in a second Alright, now it's time to really lamely release the floodgates, because it's not really going to go anywhere right now, it's just going to sort of flow down and pool up. So, it's not going to be that exciting yet, but at least we can get a nice look at it here in a second once I grab my shovel, and we keep clearing away all of this good blockage here, the dam that kept the water back from the desert area. Gotta get rid of it first, then we'll take a good look. Alright. As expected, didn't really go anywhere, <laughs> just sort of sat there, 
but that's fine. We can start fixing it up a little bit. Why, <laughs> Minecraft water, the weirdest substance known to man, does whatever it wants and sometimes will create the weirdest infinite water sources you have ever seen. But we're not getting that right now. So we're, we, we got to try harder. We got to try much harder. So let me try a little bit harder. See you guys back when this entire place is filled with water. All right, and here's our river so far. It's looking real nice, especially with the bay. Now that everything is nice and lowered, everything is looking really good. So we're going to move on from the river right now since I'm a little bit sick of expanding it. And I'm just going to focus on removing this here island because this doesn't really fit here. It doesn't look proper and it doesn't look nice, so I'd rather remove it and have a nice bigger body of water. And this is going to take a long, long time, so... And so that huge big block is finally removed and it is gone and that looks nice already that looks amazing already that they're now connected bodies of water and then we just have to remove the little bit of over there and make it just a little bit nicer it's a little bit rough and weird on the edges but the next and last thing we will do for this area for this episode is over here i have always sort of imagined a really nice waterfall now we don't really have white clay glass or cobwebs to do the nice mist that I usually do, but we do have white wool, so I will be trying to do some white wool with it, but let me get up there first and then talk to you guys about how this waterfall is actually going to work. Hold on, I see something that probably looks really cool, and I want to show you guys it for my reaction as well. Ooh, that does look so cool. Hold on. Oop, just take a little bit of damage there. That really nice corner mountain. Ooh, I can already see something gorgeous being there. I already love it. I like how, ooh, this, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is just, this just gets better and better as I get closer and closer. Let's use some sandstone and get up here for a nicer view. All right, so, hmm, let's just, let's just get up here. All right. So that's a nice flat wall by itself. That looks like a pretty nice flat wall, but right here, that's what I'm looking at. That looks amazing. I can see something really cool going in on there. All right, we're gonna have to keep in mind of this area. It's just a little bit off of the spawn area, so I shouldn't miss it, but we'll have to keep this in mind. Something has to go here. Something, something, anything at all. It's just too good of an area to pass up. All right, what a nice view of the river and the lake we have from up here. Really shows the effort we've already gotten. In fact, hold on. Let's just, uh, let's get a comparison shot. Let's just get a comparison shot of the work we've done right there. Yeah, that's a lot of work. All right, so first things first in this area, Trees. Trees are in the way, and trees must be removed. Trees will be chopped down, and then water will be placed and dispersed properly for a waterfall. So, this probably needs to be moved for a nicer flow, and these around here as well. I'm trying to imagine a nice even flow from, like, here and here. Just a nice area covering with water all the way down. And I sort of want it to come out from either there, and that's a nice area as well. I wouldn't mind it coming out from just like right here if it has a nice spread. Hold on, let's check that out. Do you have a nice area? Do you cover a nice area? Hmm. You might cover a nice area if you just go a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Come on, you can do it. There you go. And that might look nice. Uh, we should get it. Oh, come on. Really? That's okay. Okay. I see how it is. 
Let's... Come on. Come on, Minecraft water. Stop being so finicky. Work with me here. Work with me. Uh, we're gonna have to block it off for it to get... Yeah, that way. There. And then we get up here. Then we... Take away the dirt blocks. Then the sandstone. And hopefully it continues flowing nicely. And it looks like all of the edges that I want to be covered are covered. Sort of nicely. Let's go down and see how that looks. And then we'll add a little bit more to the bottom if I feel like it needs a little bit more uh, fluff down at the bottom. But we also have a little bit of wool. I have some more back at the house and probably somewhere in the four chests I have in this area. So how's that look? Hmm. You know what? It's a bit thicker than I wanted, but it still looks very nice. And up there, it's going to have to be changed a little bit. I can tell it's just one little source block. But that looks pretty nice. I'm going to go up there, fix the source block, and then come down here and fluff the bottom with you guys a little bit. So, see you guys in a second. Alright, top's looking okay for now. We'll definitely have to do something with it later. I know waterfalls don't come out of just little holes in the wall. We'll have to make it look a little bit more realistic a little later since a little below on supplies right now. But for right now, the plan is to just come along the bottom right here and make the little bottom parts come out a little bit. Just make it do a little bit of fluffing up at the bottom, you know, so it's not all just one huge long flat line that it sort of followed down. It actually looks a little bit normal, like it had a varied path and did a little bit of weird stuff. And we will go like this to... Alright, hold on, we gotta go like this. So it'll go this way. Thank you. And then like that. Yep, there we go. That's what I wanted it to do, finally. There it goes. Then we'll get rid of all of these and see how it looks. And actually, no. We'll keep those there since those will help us fluff it up a little bit more if we want to in some spots. But let's get a good view of it from back here. And a little bit weird. <laughs> a little bit weird. It's a little bit too uniform. So... Let's fix that up a little bit here. We'll add some randomness to the bottom and a randomness to when they start coming down. So we'll go like, it'll have one here and maybe like one there, like two there, couple there, like it comes out really far there, comes out over here a little bit more. And we'll get up here a little bit, stand on a dry block and up here. Then this will come out a little bit more here, right here this one will come out at a different height, this one will come out at a different height, and last but not least, we'll, we'll do like a double feature here, this one will go up like together. Alright, so how's that looking? <laughs> It'll look a little bit better once we get the sandstone removed, but it'll give us a good indication of how the water is going to look in the first place. That's looking a lot better. Uh, right there is a flat area I want to fix, and right there is a flat area I want to fix. Other than that, it's looking pretty good so far. I'm not having any issues with it. Let's see, come over here, and scuba dive to get under here. We'll bring that one up, that one up, and we'll bring eh, that one up there. Right, that fixed that. Then a little bit of a cobblestone there, give that a little bit more of a boost right there and remove this one wait this one's going to yeah this one's going to do this and we'll do this to fluff that part out and that part out then see it always comes down to it looks really flat and weird and I don't like that come on stop looking all weird and flat okay I don't think I'm going to get it to look un flat and weird but now that's out too far from this angle and I want to bring that back a little bit since we did just mess it up so boop and that should go away then we bring it out again jeez wool takes forever I can't wait till shears are added go like that add a little bit of volume there and go like this add a little bit of volume here and here yep there we go yeah, okay, now it's looking a little bit better. Uh, unflat that area. And unflat here, too. 
No, here. <sighs> All right, we're going to have to cover that up somehow. But how's it looking? It's looking all right. It's not looking too bad. Again, I think this area needs to be toned back a little bit more once again, but I'm going to clean up the sandstone and then bring you guys back for the finished product. Actually, looking at it from a distance actually looks a lot better from where I was looking at it from, from the little coast there. It actually looks a lot better from a distance than up close. I actually think I like it now. I was just sort of walking back from the chests and I did look over at it and I thought you know it does look pretty good but it really cemented it over here that it looks a little bit better from a distance still need to fix that huge bulge right there but it's pretty much good I can't add a whole lot of detail I'm going to get more wool off camera for next episode actually no not next episode. We're going to wait until we get some stained glass and cobwebs for this thing to make it look all nice. But we will prettify the top, beautify the top. We will do that in another episode. But I think that's actually going to do it for this episode of Generations. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A whole bunch of time and a whole bunch of effort went into this episode. I sincerely hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next video. Remember, stay fancy. And peace out. Buh bye bye